The Swedish Streitsfon 103, or S-Tank, which it is also known as, was developed in the mid-1950s. It had an unusual design, and served in the Swedish military from the 1960s to the 1990s. Studies of combat reports from World War II and Korea, showed that tank losses were strongly related to the height of the tank. Most tank losses were a result of a hit on the turret of the tank. The Swedish Arms Administration concluded that their new domestically produced tank needed a low design. This was solved by removing the turret from the design. Removing the turret made the vulnerable target area much smaller, and made the tank much lighter. To solve the problem of aiming without a turret, inspiration was drawn from the German Stug and Jagdpanzers used in World War II. A fully automated transmission and suspension system, gave the gunner precise control of the tank's turning and tilting. The gun was fixed, and the gun could not be stabilized, so the tank could not move and fire at the same time. The gun was also equipped with an autoloader, allowing it to fire one round every third second. This reduced the crew of the tank to two, a gunner, who also served as the driver, and the commander. In emergencies, a single person could operate all functions of the tank from his position. However, it was soon concluded that a third crew member was needed to deal with tasks not directly related to handling the tank. The third crew member was assigned as a rear driver and radio operator. He faced the rear of the tank, which allowed the tank to be driven backwards with the same speed as forwards. Both the gunner and the commander had sights and controls to fire the gun and drive the tank. The S-Tank was powered by two different kind of engines. It had a Rolls-Royce K60 diesel engine for cruising and maneuvering the tank and aiming, and a Boeing 502 gas turbine engine for additional power when traveling at higher speed or difficult terrain. The Boeing was soon replaced by a more powerful Caterpillar turbine engine. This was the first use of a turbine engine in any production tank. The S-Tank was also fully amphibious, and could move in water at about 3.7 miles per hour. One tank in each platoon was equipped with a dozer blade, allowing it to do simple engineering tasks. The blade was secured under the front hull when not in use. Later models of the tank was equipped with a dozer blade as standard. The tank was also equipped with two hull-mounted 7.62mm machine guns. An additional gun was mounted on the commander's observation post. Sweden was a neutral country, but the S-Tank was intended for aggressive offensive operations. The armored brigades were tasked with launching counteroffensives on enemy beachheads and airborne landings. The S-Tank never saw combat, but several exercises and evaluations by British and American armor experts showed that the design worked. The S-Tank fired quite accurately, but proved less effective on soft ground and when overcoming vertical obstacles. On the other hand, it was far more maneuverable than conventional designs. The model was retired in 1997, and a total of 290 tanks were produced.